Hello everyone, I'm Symes, with me as usual is Robin. Hello there. And welcome back to Factorio. Oh, this lovely coal. Look at all that coal. It's a thing of, well, not necessarily beauty, but... Um, a thing of coal. thing of coal, certainly. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, we are waiting for rocket silo research, that's mainly what we're doing right now. I've got a couple of yeah. things to check on. Um, you you use very little copper, really, don't you? You have a mine, um, but you don't really use no, it for anything. Because really. <laughs> you've, really you've still got two two miners here sitting on some. Well, I think one of them. No, neither of them's empty. This little copper patch. It's just all fine. Yeah. I mean, meanwhile, the circuit factory here chews through copper like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yes. The humming of machinery. Right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, so I was just about to say um, that I did some research and found out how many shields it takes to survive being hit by a train. And really? Yeah, it was more than I was carrying just then, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually have enough to survive, but I know how many it is. It's more than you've it's, got. It's more than that. <laughs> Man. Oh no! <laughs> oh, this is this is turning into a very very bad habit. <laughs> That's a. Oh, for God's sake! I have survived once, but off screen I've been flattened. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I did some because I filled up my um. I can't even show now because I don't have a power power suit anymore. But. Time to start collecting stuff. If again. you have um. Six. Um, six, shield. six shield mark twos you can survive yep. a full speed impact from the front of a train with a tiny right. sliver of health left which the train which wants to keep moving will then grind away and kill you right so, so, so that's that's how you can survive uh, being hit by a train with maybe enough time to run out of the way if you're lucky <laughs> I clearly was not paying <laughs> attention and got killed again so good job Symes um, yep Really, really uh, nailing the progress there. <laughs> Oops. What do I need to make this? Another one of these efficiency modules and speed modules. Man, I actually want to keep this steel plate on there. I really need that for something. Uh, what don't I need right now? Um, filter inserters. Right, so I'll just, uh, you know, rebuild everything. Instruct my instruct the bots to bring me a lot of stuff so I can start making things again. Yeah. <laughs> Get back on rebuilding all that. What I was actually trying to say when I was coming over here is that this copper train here um, yeah. this mine has run out so we need to send the copper train somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, so I shall pick this mine up and we need to find another spot for a copper mine. I also need to find this train and uh, tell it to stop shuttling back and forth and wasting everybody's time. So I'm actually just going to wait up here for it to come back. And I'm running very slowly again. Right, so you, train. Yes, for some, for some reason. Right, so if I put this train on manual, then it'll just sit here forever now. And we can find a new spot for it to go and, uh, and send it there. A little bit of oh, I found a little Just bit of ore that's been irking me. Heaven's sake. I don't know if this area is within the Roboport range. Um, there are some. Find out. There are some uh, stripes which aren't in um, the logistics range. There shouldn't be anything like that's in the middle of, of uh, Roboports that's not in the construction range. But you might be out of logistics range. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just. Oh, I could just build a robot. Uh, what's what's the problem? Um, I've just built a. Um, there's a little bit of cop um, iron ore over here that's been irking me, so I'll just put some machines down. Oh, I see. It could be that the. Well, actually, there could be a bunch of reasons why. Like the chests could be full, or you know, there's no, there's nothing requesting iron ore. Yep. Well, that wasn't a good place to put it. But yeah, if you once you put a logistics chest down, if you match over, it'll tell you, it'll show you the colours for the 
of the network and you'll be able to see whether it's inside or not. It's gone yellowish. If it's inside the orange zone, then you're good. Yep. Yep, okay. So, if anyone requests... Right. I shall start making power armor and stuff again. Excellent. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> uh, what don't I need right now? I'll switch out electric furnaces. Right, I was going to go and blow up some aliens. Were you? Yeah. That's you know unusual. Some trees. What are trees doing in this area here? Uh, obviously, if they just managed to escape your notice up to now. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the other thing that's still happening. Of course, the lights are still going Trees. Out. Yeah. Oh, I was filling in um, landfill as well. Maybe one of the highest uses of advanced circuits now is me getting killed while carrying stuff that I was built with advanced circuits <laughs> and having to make it again. Yeah. It's a little bit of water left up right, here. So I've got um, in. power on my back. What do I need to make the. Uh, oh, I could have to make a fusion reactor as well. So I can actually power up this exoskeleton that I'm putting into it. Let's try this again. <laughs> Once more with feeling. Maybe I should just just stay inside the base until I've got like a million shields. <laughs> Dare not venture outside, lest the murderous trains kill me. <laughs> I need more stone. Um, He's building in somewhere. Was this a stone thing? It is. Have I got any? Still don't have any advanced circuits. Must be some. Chest. Oh, the chest actually doesn't have that many in. Yeah. It's alright though, there's a load of them backed up on this line over here. I'm gonna steal some from that. Everything's fine. Woo! More concrete required. Uh, right, so I want to. I want to make. Um, I want to make a deconstruction planner again. <laughs> And start making some shields. <laughs> really? Yes. Yes, really. <laughs> I, need a, I need a personal robot again as well. Actually, I can't use the batteries I was stealing. Advanced circuit off a line that also has batteries in it, so that's handy. Iron gear wheels. Right. So that was yeah. What was I doing? Getting run over. <laughs> when I wasn't getting <laughs> killed by trains. What was I trying to do? Um, we're waiting for the rocket silo. That's what's actually happening. And the researchers, yeah. researchers, just trundling on. We're just waiting for that to happen. We've got space where the rocket silo is going to be, which is this big space here. I'm going to make another solar farm blueprint. Yeah, even bigger one. Well, no, just because I lost the last one, didn't I? Just oh, yeah. Now. <laughs> just I'm just to make, some more so down. I have to make it again. That's so I'm going to place some more solar farms around the place. Just squeezed it. I've just removed a load of um, water, which I've now replaced with solar farms. Yep. Hello. You know that bit I told you told me not to get rid of? Which bit? What? Well, there might have been an offshore pump I've just actually removed a water source for. Uh. <laughs> Oops. I'll sort it out, don't worry. I'll make some pipes and uh, there's some water source on the Madness. Top. <laughs> Oops. Like, yeah, after you specifically told me to not I, do I, that. I did say, like, yeah, this is, there's a pump there, so don't delete that bit. So I'll just delete that bit. Oh, no. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Well, um, I'm going to rearrange some stuffs over here. To make room for more, um, make room for more solar panels. Yep. That's something I can do with potentially without getting run over. So, say potentially the rustle trains around. Yeah. There are still killer trains. Uh, murderous trains. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> waiting to get wait, you again. Waiting for their opportunity. So wait, wait. He's coming past again. Get him, <laughs> get him, lads. <laughs> Another 
four solar farm blocks there. Um, yeah. What's this doing? Alright. Pretty sure there's need to actually extend this for that. But, uh, right. So everything's charging up like it's supposed to. Got a lot of coal there. Iron's reasonably well supplied. I've just built a, a shield. So that's good. Best of many. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's, sorry, it wasn't six shields, it was five. I can actually see the grid now. Yeah. It, it's five shields um, to be able to withstand the impact of a train. Yeah. So I kind of want more than five shields now. I'm really paranoid. It's like, <laughs> and trains I'll just are going to murder me. <laughs> good, good. Um, yeah, so I want to replace that copper mine, so I'm going to find somewhere where I can put another copper mine. There's one up there. That's, that looks like it might be good. There's one over there. We've got a lot of places, actually, we could go. And this this one here, um, there's one off near Iron Mine 1 as well, which I might go with that. It seems like it would be fairly straightforward to do. As long as I don't get killed by a train again, obviously. Yeah, I mean, that would be terrible. Yeah. But, you know, slightly hilarious. Hilarious for you, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I hope that if I get flattened by a train, you will laugh your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Rocket Solo Research is finished. Hurrah! Um, Bob is excited. I don't know what else to uh, to put in now. Do we have anything involving lasers? Uh, oh yeah, there's another laser turret shooting speed thing. We'll get that. Right, so rocket silos. What do we need to make that? Uh, where is it? We need a thousand steel plate, a thousand concrete, a hundred pipes, two hundred processing units, and two hundred electric engine units. So, you know, not actually that Nothing far particularly off. much. No. I just need to adjust my um, demands Open to the thing. And, uh, and the steel plate might take a little while, but it depends on which we've got stored up. Freaking out every time a train comes past now. <laughs> um, right, so I've made another fusion reactor, so that's on the way. I need to swap something. I'll swap up the laser turrets for. It's still going dark. For now. Yeah, we're not we're not quite there yet with um, with what we need to do for that. Uh, we're getting there, but we're not quite there. Another robot port. Oh, I need more gear wheels for that. I have to look very carefully approach the railway line across it. So, um, yeah. That's wow, those robots are screeching off for doing something. What they're building? Well, they're br bringing me stuff. They're bringing me concrete for this uh, <laughs> silo that I'm making. Uh -huh. So I'm just waiting for that stuff to build up. And um, yeah, hive of activity. Yep. The tree on that island. So I'm gonna. Yeah, range. I'm going to. Ah, um, no. Trade in running a bit more slowly for having lots and lots of shields. <laughs> for not getting killed. That's my new decision, because clearly now, every time I step outside the base, a train's going to run me over. That's how that's going to work from now on. <laughs> They're waiting for you, really. Mm. Um, and also, I'm just going to hang around in here while the bots bring me everything I need to... Oh, God. I'm going to stand on the side of the, tra of the tracks where the silo is actually going to be. <laughs> so I don't get run over when crossing the tracks while carrying all of the stuff for building the silo. Because that would be terrible. <laughs> right, so I'm slowly rebuilding the... Uh, I'm going to go and visit the stone mine. I'm going to request some construction bots as well. Get that situation back the way it should be. Ooh, there's a train. Yep. Dangerous things. <laughs> yes, they are. 
You got me paranoid as well now. <laughs> Fuck, seriously. We're getting hit by them all the time now. We've obviously reached a critical mass of trains now. Where the yeah, the critical mass is, it's on your face. The chances of being murdered by them <laughs> have, have, have basically reached one. <laughs> Sooner or later you're going to run over a bit of train track. So, oh, that's not hard to do that. Is there? Have I got... No, I haven't got the stuff. Shield yet. Alright, um, what am I short of? That's our oh, electric energy units because I keep using them to make exoskeletons with. Alright, we're probably low on electric energy units now, again, because I keep on making those exoskeletons and then dying. Alright, well, if that might take a while, oh, I don't know if <laughs> I'm scared to go outside though. <laughs> I'm scared to go outside in case I die. Trains are waiting for you. They are. Murderous trains. I'm going to have to scoop up more advanced circuits to, to get this going. Well, well maybe what I'll do in the meantime is just put some more solar farms down. Requested walls um, and some other things as well. So, hmm. um, right. So I'm making use of some of the some of the space inside the uh, loops of train track to put more solar farms down as well. I'm filling in a few more lakes this time. Being careful not to actually screw up anything we actually need. Hmm. That's good. Which means more concrete! Ooh. Of course. Always be concreting. Is that not connected at all? I if it is. Where the stone train arrives. That's not the thing, was it? Stone train's at the top left. Yeah, alright. Oh, where's, where's it delivered to? The top left off the base. Alright, oh, okay. Cheers. So, we'll move over here. Next to the copper mine. This is the stone train loop. This is where the chests are. Right, um, so I'm just uh, All out. putting more shields in. I think, have I got my construction bots now? Yes, I don't need to request those anymore, either. So, I was going to build a copper mine, wasn't I? While we, while we wait. Yep. And I was just, like, very carefully and in a paranoid way across, across the railway lines. <laughs> right, so I'm putting a copper mine down here. Just stop briefly to add this new defense shield. So I need to work out how I'm going to run the stuff up, because if I want to um, just run it from this track, then I'm going to need to double up this track up to this point so that uh, so that so that the trains don't get stuck pointing at each other. So trying to murder each other basically. So I want that the train murder off. So yep, so I have to adjust this to be uh, double width. And this bit. Large. They do go by 
at a really unnerving speed. The trains, when when they're when they're going full full tilt, it's actually quite terrifying. The speed they go past. <laughs> Railway a bit too far. Never mind. That's no problem. Five more solar farms. There we go. So now, whoop. Damn was it. that a train by any chance? <laughs> that, was, that was the original murder train that nearly murdered me. <laughs> Thomas the Our murder old train. friend Thomas. Aww. Still murdering. Bless him. All this time. <laughs> For all these years, he's still got it. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm trying to put some signals down without getting killed, so... So I'm going to finish laying this track and then convert the whole thing into a double. Okay, so there's Thomas. Oh, Thomas. Waiting for you. He's, yeah. ah. He's, he's going, soon, soon. <laughs> soon I shall flatten you. <laughs> right, so I should be able to lift this uh, section of track now. Now that's a double width uh, thing. Just make sure I haven't messed that up. But Thomas will have to take a slightly long way around if I don't add another bit of track here. No, you don't want to anger him. No, I also don't want to be standing <laughs> on the root of the track while I'm putting it down, just in case it finishes getting laid and then he comes through. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be the stupidest thing. Have you, have you got enough shields now? Uh, no. Oh no. I'm still working on that. <laughs> um, it's not. Oh, it's waiting for construction mods. Right, so this um, now should be that the train about's now like a regular train about rather than the custom one that I did for this bit. Yeah. And now the track's doubled uh, all the way along here. And I'll put some more signaling in just to just to break it up into blocks. And then we're at the point where I want to clear these trees. Where? Where? Um, so that I can do this copper mine. Well, here you have a tree problem. Uh, I did have a tree problem. I've kind of dealt with it now. But you can deal with, deal with it more if you like. <laughs> By all means. Um, I consider the trees dealt with. They won't damage you again. Hurrah. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you, brave hero. <laughs> Uh, right, so you get, get your railway line in, like that, do the thing, make it a bit straight, and go around to try these. Not usual, there goes Thomas. Put some signals on. This station is copper mine uh, five, I suppose. Yeah, a lot of copper. I mean, copper mine one is technically no longer operational, but this, it still has a station, so I don't want to. Its memory lives on. Start getting confused. It's not yet decommissioned. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll be doing that. Um, on the assumption I can get back to the base without dying, I shall be doing that <laughs> when I get back there. <laughs> Laser turret shooting speed six is finished. Excellent. Woo -woo. Pew, pew, pew. Um, we're kind of yeah, out of things that we actually use now. So you get night vision, but that just makes everything green. That sounds annoying. I'll just, I'll just research landmines since since you were talking about landmines before. Well, that's pretty quick. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not a high, uh, it's not a high tech thing, landmines. You step on them, they go boom. That's it. There's not a lot to them, really. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> oh, we've got landmines now. Ooh. In the next uh, release of the game, which this, which isn't for a while yet. There will be um, like advanced researchers that you can just keep on uh, redoing. You know, you can just they'll, they'll they'll just give you incremental bonuses to things, and you can like add another research level to them forever. All right. Kind of thing, which is quite good, like the like mining yield and um, stuff like that. Yeah, but that's in the... just get it ridiculous. Yes, yeah, so you can just keep going. So once you're at the, like end game and you've run out of things to usefully research, you can just keep on incrementing stuff. Yeah. Make stuff slightly better, build more and more and more. Which is good, you know. My paranoia has reached such extremes that I'm nervous of stepping on the conveyor belts now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not even a thing. <laughs> Alright, I think all these miners are going. Yep. Let's go and blow up some aliens, which is what I was going to do until I got distracted by here. Uh... Power that up. All right, good. Mine, Mine is running. It could probably. Oh, nothing's requesting copper, um, iron ore. Hmm. No, well, it's only the for for ore. All we've got requesting it is the concrete um, assemblers, and there's probably quite a lot being supplied oh, to them already. Requesting it. <laughs> I know what I can do. If I put a passive provided, uh, or I can just run over here. You could make the um, provider that you've got uh, an active one. That would push the ore into the uh, storage chests. Or make a load of crazy conveyor belts. Well, well you could do that as well, it's up to you really. Let's put some lasers in. I don't think this, I don't think this place needs a lot of lasers, but research uh, experience has shown that if I say if I say <laughs> yeah. this probably doesn't, doesn't doesn't need any lasers, it needs lasers. So yeah. We have more lasers down here where the where the turret creep originally happened. So, give me some gear wheels, minions. Um, I don't know. Let's just research everything else then. I suppose why not? Let's... Explosive rockets. Yeah, because right? yeah, because we've got you only got the rocket launcher. Then there's like better yeah. exploding exploding rockets. I suppose. Okay, yeah. so um, I'm going to put another shield in. And I have five of them, which I think is the magic number for just surviving being hit by a train and then having the train slowly grind you to death. You might want an extra one then. <laughs> so I'm thinking I might put another two in and uh, just be a bit slower than I otherwise have been. Yeah. But now um, I'm turning to the base in order to set up that copper train. And not get flattened. And ideally not get flattened. I'm inside now. <laughs> So I'm safe for a little while, at least until I come further north. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. <laughs> Suddenly a train flies <laughs> off the track and kills me. Uh, what am I trying to do here? I'm still waiting for enough stuff to build. Oh, I've got 50 stacking inserts. Build the silo with as well. Um, right, so let's have a look in here. I'm... Going to build one more exoskeleton and two more shields. That's the plan there. I've done something fairly pointless. Excellent. <laughs> Good man. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> I, I, instead of, well, I put a passive provider chest down and it got full of all the iron ore from this little patch. Mm -hmm. And rather than, you know, adding it to the logistics network. I put a fast insert to take them all out and stick them onto a belt. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> uh, all right, so. There's all now being fed into the ore system anyway. All right. Good. So set up this cop train. Um, this should be an ore. Should be an automatic. All right. So the, the first copper train uh, from copper mine one has now been reconfigured and should go to copper mine five. Uh, Alright, I guess we're researching rocket damage now. 
And then, yep. then now um, I, reached out. I can pull up copper mining one altogether, I suppose. I'm not using it anymore. Station and everything. All the railway lines, turrets. Well, not all of the turrets, some of the turrets. Let's go and see what the aliens are up to around here. There seems to be a bit more of them. Another base. Yeah, so... so Very substantial ones. Oof. Right. They're tetchy. Are they? Yeah. They disapprove of your showing up and being all, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. I don't get that. It's like, yeah, what's that about? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right, so we've got a big old patch of coal up here as well for when... Oh, no, I need to move away from there because now my construction bots are placing concrete. I don't want them to. <laughs> There's a big patch of coal up there um, for, for when we need more coal, which is not now. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to deconstruct some of this railway truck. There's a railway truck I can safely run along now because there isn't a train on it. Uh huh. There could be. That's it. That is just false sense of security. The train's going. Ha ha! He thinks he's <laughs> with me, but no. Now his death is assured. <laughs> All right. So I've pulled up that train track. I've cleared some space. I may put down some more solar panels. And more dead trains. See, what happens now is um, we put these solar panels down, which leaves less room to run around in that isn't a railway line. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to run around the railway, the, the solar panels along by the railway track in order to go anywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah that's quite There's a bit of a flaw. Or a Where's problem this train least. from? Oh, the, the, the train from Copper Mine 5 is back and has 2k of ore on board, so that's obviously working. That's good. Oh, the copper trains are all queuing up. What's going on there? Oh, yeah. Yep, they all queue up along that section of track now. Okay. What was next on, on the list of things to do? Put more shields into, into my exoskeleton. There we go. Now I have <laughs> now I have six. I'm gonna put one more in, which will fill the thing up entirely. And, uh, <laughs> so I'll have seven shields and um, four exoskeletons and two rubble bolts. And then hopefully, I will look. Hopefully, you'll be safe. I'll be in less danger of dying <laughs> the instant I step outside. So that'll be good. Uh, yeah. So what about the silo? What do I need for that? Oh, it's still electric engine. It's it's actually uh, and steel plate and concrete again now. So, mostly. Where's the concrete? Don't need that copper. Okay. Well, I've blown up a few aliens, so I feel better about myself. That's good. Well, I still don't know why I've got all these stacking sets. You can go. I've used horrendous amounts of uh, stone. Uh, drilling in. Yep, I did drilling say. In yep. Need yeah. to get a few more. And you're paving over all the lakes. Yep. Right, if you notice, we are missing quite a lot of lake now. I haven't been keeping an eye on it, but um, yeah, I kind of thought what's going to happen. This this can be moved. Don't need to worry. Right, so I'm getting a couple more sets of solar panels in. How am I? No, it's, yeah, it's the electric engine. So I, should, I may come down here and take a look and see what the electric engineer situation is and see if something can be done to speed that up. Because right now it's uh, a bit chuggy. Yeah. And we're waiting on them. I think we may need them for rocket components and stuff as well. So yeah. where our electric engineers being made, we really need them. 
one of these factories. This factory here, which is basically running as fast as it possibly can. Yeah. It's just not fast enough, so I'll just put another assembly down. It'll be fine. One is finished. Excellent. May as well research rocket damage too. <laughs> just basically, just why not? Any old rubbish, fill really. It, fill it all in, you know. All the cheeves. Right. So there's nothing actually useful left to research. Um, I, I don't know, but it, it depends on what you want to do. But for us, because we weren't using rockets and we're not using bullets very much, we don't usually no. have been using shotguns at all. Um, we don't. I've been using use, machine guns occasionally, we, we don't but mostly flame shoot trees turrets. down. I mean, and we, could, and we haven't used the combat robots either. Combat robots? You never told me there were combat robots. I did. I not? I I have been extremely remiss. Clearly, yeah, there are there are combat robots. Um, I would like you would, to make some crazy combat robots. They they are they are temporary, which is one of the things about them. Oh, that's a thing. So they, you basically you build them, they wander around, and then they finish. Uh, yeah. So you basically t they're like um, robots in grenade form. Like you throw them out, and then they hang around for a while doing whatever it is that they, they, that particular robot does, and then um, then they disappear. All right. So yeah. So but we can research those. It'll be cool. Not as exciting. Uh, it still could be fun. So I'm going to set up another. I've got a lot of speed modules as well. Why not put them in? I'm setting up another. Um, Assembly for oh, it needs oil. That's what I did. That's what I completely ignored when I was making this. This isn't going to work at all. <laughs> Although it, it can do, I just need to mess with some pipes up here. Pipe uh, to ground. The pipe to ground, I just need to have this. Right, so I just need to power this up and it'll be fine. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Are there any trains nearby? I'm quite a long way from any trains, but yeah. <laughs> the paranoia is still there. Right, so now, so basically now, as long as the um, flow of uh, resources keeps keeps going, we're making electric engine units twice the speed as we were before. Excellent. Which should help quite a lot, really. Um, I think I'm nearly. Yeah, I need, I need another 43 to make um, the silo. I need 100 pipes. I can make my final shield generator now. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to actually get around to building the rocket silo. Today? Today. Just because uh, we're waiting. Right we're, time. we're sort of prepping for it really, aren't we? Yeah, I was waiting for electric engine units to get finished so I can build it, but... Uh, How many more do we need? Uh, where is it at? I need another... Oh, I need another 25, so actually we might be alright. Oh, okay. Nearly there. Nearly there. So I'm just going to very carefully go up to where I'm going to build it and hang out there. Meanwhile, um, how's, how's everything looking up here? Supply of iron to this lot of smelters is pretty solid. Um, the iron plate is backing up on this line, so obviously the supply to the circuit factory is going well. Circuit Got some more solar farms. The circuit factory is cranking away. So we've got, still got enough copper and iron to supply it, so that's good. I think we could probably maybe do with an additional copper smelter, but actually there is room for one down here if we could cram it in. Aliens are being fairly quiet at the moment. Yeah, well they don't <laughs> they don't need to kill us, do they? Because because the trains are doing it. The alien, are you saying they're in league with the aliens? <laughs> they formed an the alliance trains. with between yeah. the trains and the aliens. 
Right, so one more copper smelter, um, which is probably good, at least for now. Oh, that copper trains really do like queuing up up here now. Oh my... Ooh. Now I'm short of pipes. <laughs> but I, didn't, I didn't request enough pipes. That one could, thing after another. That will, that will quickly be fixed. Grenade factory and then we can get the silo down. And then you should come and take a look at the silo once we put it down, because it's, uh, it's quite a thing to look at. It's by far yeah. the largest thing that we can build. Um, do we then need to build rockets to put in the silo? Uh, you, we need to build a lot of components to do it, yeah. Ha! Yeah. I'm building the silo. Excellent. How long does it take? Um, it's about a quarter done at this point, so not too bad. Right. I'm coming up to have a look. Don't get killed by my trains. <laughs> the eternal cry. Right, I'm going to put my last energy shield in. I've got seven of them now. Shield, shield capacity of 1,050 I have now. That's quite impressive. <laughs> What's so, mine? Uh, shield capacity 600. Yeah, that's very good. Right, so the silo um, can go... It's all this for the silo. Wow. It's it's not as big as that. I just want oh, right. I just want to leave plenty of space because it'll need ancillary. There's a lot of robots bringing you stuff. Yeah, because they're replacing everything I just used up building the silo. I should probably stop that. I don't need <laughs> a thousand concrete now. It's fine. You can stop. Yes, you do. <laughs> I really don't. All right, anyway. Silo. Plunk the silo down. It's going to need some assemblers assembling things as well, which is why I want more space. But uh, that's the rocket silo there. Blimey. Which is pretty cool. And that looks pretty it good. It needs us to make rocket parts which require these low density structures, rocket fuel, and rocket control units. And it needs a bunch of rocket parts to make the rocket, which is at 0% right now. Rocket damage 2, let's just go to rocket damage 3. So, do we need speed modules or efficiency modules or anything for it? Um, well, we're going to need to build assemblers to build these things, which is why I want some space because I want them to go pretty quick, so I'm going to want to use more than one of them. So I'm going to put at least two for each of the three things that we want. Right. Now let's, let's just go with two for, to start with. And then, oh, I, only, I only have five assemblers on me at a time. Anyway, yeah, so when I get another one, I'll put a, fifth, a sixth one down. I don't have one, of course. Um, right, so we need to build... Is it assembly unit three? Uh, yes. But no, sorry. I'll, the... I'll plonk one down, I've got one. Oh, you want Okay. Robots build, they're bringing them to me anyway. So we need to build low density structures. We'll build them over here. And intermediate products. Yep, low density structure. And copy that to there. Get some requesters on. Providers. Assuming you want a similar sort of matchup. Uh, yeah, the, the basic idea is going to be the same. Uh, and then we need to power these. Let's put some power in. Power everything. Probably should connect it to the rest of the power grid as well. <laughs> that would help. That would probably work better. There we go. Yeah. Right, so Motor what else we need? We need rough fuel. Which may not be. Oh, yeah, there it is. Same sort of deal again. And another assembly machine. This one is making rocket control units. Um, yeah. And finally, we're going to want a requester up here next to this thing, just requesting everything that they use, and then that'll be just feed it all in. That'll be that. Should probably put it somewhere where there's power, but whatever. No. Right. And so for each uh, ten 
put density structure, 10 rocket fuel and 10 rocket control units we make, we will get one rocket part. Uh, I think we one. need like a, a lot of them to make a rocket with. So That's why I wanted a load of these operating, because it will take a bunch of time. Yep. So we're just short on rocket control units for this. Which is short on speed module ones. Hmm. Let me just go. And, I'm going to go and check the speed module factory to make sure they can actually pull those into the logistics net because they might not be. Oh, I'm going to stick a robo down here to help speed things up. Oh yeah, they're, no, they are. They're, they're making them. They're just required advanced circuits, which um, are in short supply. Apparently. Yeah, we've got a short supply of advanced circuits due to a slight shortage of copper. Is something I was just a bit concerned about. As it turns out, I was right. I was right to be concerned. Um, what I think I'm going to do is um, just to make sure that there's always copper for making advanced circuits. I'm going to do some merging of or splitting and merging of stuff up here. So these these bonus um, oops that's not this. these bonus copper plates here. I'm going to split half of them off and merge them directly uh, onto the bit where, that leads to the advanced circuit factory. So the advanced circuit factory should always have copper. Yep. Okay, control units seem to take the longest time. Well, if they're needing advanced circuits, that's probably why. Oh no, they're the ones that need the speed modules, and the speed modules yeah. need advanced circuits. So yeah. Ah uh, yeah. We could probably do with more advanced circuit factories, really. How are we on regular circuits? Yeah, we've got 800 regular circuits sitting in a chest. So we're doing okay for them now. I've got 70 on me, I'm going to go and gift them to the machine. 70 advanced circuits. 70 processing units. Oh, processing units. Different machine. A uh, different thing. I've got some speed modules as well, so I can have those. You have some speed module one? Oh, uh, yeah, I had two of them. Good old. Just drop them there. Right, uh, I think, yeah, I think we need probably... Probably need more advanced circuit making happening. Which is actually kind of irritating, because there's no way to put it. What about around this giant section here? Um, well, I... We need to put in uh, copper wire making as well if we're going to put it somewhere other than down here. Or we have to put copper wire into um, the, the logistics net, which currently it's not. But I can probably squeeze a couple more assemblers for them in here. Which I think might be the thing to try. So how many bits of rocket do we need? Has it made any yet? <laughs> At all? Um, it's... Half it needs four more um, control units, and it can make its first one. Yeah, it's going to. It's not going to be. It's not going to be fast. That's the problem. So I'm going to put a couple more advanced circuit factories in at least. No point putting it. Is it worth putting an efficiency module on these? In, in the assembly machines. The ones up here, uh, possibly, yeah. Because when we get more free stuff, it, but it will take longer to build each one. So maybe some speed modules as well. Have you got any efficiency modules on you? Or are you gonna? I mean pr productivity. Oh, productivity. Modules, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, productivity. Sorry, yeah. Productivity is what we both should have said. <laughs> Yes. And yes, it is. <laughs> I think it is probably worth putting some of those in. At least on. I can make. I can make one. On there, I might request some. Because there should be a few knocking about in. In the system. The rocket fuel stuff should be fine. I might put some on the low density structure makers as well, but. 
But yeah, we it's no, oh, we were at one percent of a rocket now. How exciting! Mm. Bob's excited. Well, and well, he should be. Right, so what, this one is now at uh, twenty percent productivity and a bit faster. I would place them. Yep. Fair enough. With the faster ones, better ones. So t plus twenty percent productivity and. Uh, Plus seventy percent crafting speed on them, but it is actually largely dependent on speed modules turning up. I don't know, and that's de and that's dependent on advanced circuits. So we've got more of yeah. those happening now. So hopefully it'll be better. Now there's a shortage of copper wire. Of course there is. Something else. This whole is something. Yeah, we don't have enough smelters going for copper stuff. That's the actual problem that we have. Smelting everything. Uh, not really. Smoker's board of smelting. It's not really a lot of the way out, the way out, we've laid the way I've laid this out. There's not a lot of uh, spare space for more smelting. No, uh, there's quite a lot of smelters. Yep. Apparently, it's never enough. <laughs> never enough smelting. Yeah. Would it speed up slightly if you changed the um, inserters? Not really. Because um, there's a small delay between them. It reduces the delay moving between wires. Yeah, but once I mean one, once they're actually running, the, they've got. The, if you look at actually look inside the smelters, they've got backed up ore sitting in them, and yeah. and, and it always gets refreshed. So faster inserters aren't, aren't going to do anything. Like if the furnaces were sitting idle, then faster yeah. inserters putting more ore in them would be better. But as it is, like as soon as they get down to one, they go back up to four, and they just keep on running. Faster smelting it on on these furnaces might work because I haven't actually done that at all yet. So I can put some speed modules in, and then they'll. But the speed modules is what we need in order to. <laughs> yeah. It's always a bit of a it's always a bit of a thing. It's a bit iron, a bit ironic. We've got any speed modules lurking around in the new factory. So yeah, I can my many chests are plenty. Speed up some smelting here. Yeah. Massive power usage. That's all right. We don't have ever have any power problems. <laughs> no, not ever. <laughs> so these are um, running at uh, double normal speed now. There's five five smelters running at double normal speed now. Which is the equivalent of putting down five more smelters, so. That'll do. So that might help. Yeah. Ooh, what have we got here? We've got speed module threes, four of. Yep. Is there any useful they can go? Um, well, you can put, them in more, put more of them in the copper smelters if you like. Yeah. 14 speed modules here as well, which I'll go and drop into the factory. Right, well, I'm going to have a look um, at how we are with the rocket silo right now, and that's probably going to be it. We're at two percent. We've made two percent of a rocket. It's all two percent. Yep, it's all down to the slow production of rocket control units. Everything else is just tearing on. Yeah, but uh, let me dump these up here. Yeah, the low density structures and stuff are actually filling up. So how many? Parts to it. Where is it? Bob is working out his speech when he goes into space. <laughs> this, <laughs> he stands on the platform, where it sits on top of the podium in his fishbowl, I suppose. <laughs> delivers yeah. a speech before boarding the rocket that will take him <laughs> to his destiny. <laughs> and then there's Bob's home. Yep. Just in case. You happen to get killed by a train. Yep, there he is. He's waiting to go. He's, 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 that's, he's, in, the, he's in his barracks now. <laughs> Ready how, to launch. How can a fish have shooting speed? <laughs> what? If you mouse over the fish, it says shooting speed 2 per second. Damage minus 20 <laughs> physical. How can you have shooting speed on a fish? 
<laughs> oh, we're at three percent of a rocket now. Wow, things are really speeding up. And soon along. we'll get up to four percent because we need two more rocket control units for it. Yep. It's very exciting. That's it. Nope. Oh, there we are. Nine. One more rocket control unit. It's making another bit of rocket. Four <laughs> percent. Brilliant. Okay. Well, that's it's a good. Really quick at doing that, isn't it? That's a good place to end then. Um, yep. Next week. Bob's ready. We're four percent there. Next week we may finish making a rocket. I'm not going to say that we will, but we might. We'll have to turn the entire factory over to making those speed modules. And we need more advanced circuits. That's basically the problem. Uh, so we'll probably yeah. look at that. Um, yeah, we'll probably tweak that some more next time as well. Um, to get our fish in space. Yes, fish in space. <laughs> so uh, tune in next time for that. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Toodaloo. Bye.